Hi everyone and welcome to another Papercraft Society box reveal. This month we are looking at an absolutely stunning box designed by the lovely Stephanie Waitman of Two Red Robins. Now uh, many of you don't know this, I actually worked with Stephanie for many many years and she is so talented so I'm really really pleased that she's teamed up with Papercraft Society to release this box so I'm sure the content's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So the quote just inside the box is creativity is within all all, all of us, us all, unleash yours today. Um, so let's take a look. I think that is true. I think we all have an amount of creativity within us. It's just about having the right product to uh, kind of share that. And uh, this is box 54. So let's take a look inside the wallet. Now I tend to go for the wallet first. That's where the majority of the items are. But as always, there's more inside here. So we'll come to those in a moment. And already I can see the most beautiful theme here. We have got lilies. Um, I don't know if there's other flowers, but they're certainly the ones that are standing out for me at the moment. Look, we have got two die sets here. We have got a stamp, a full stamp set. Behind there, it looks like we've got pattern papers as well. So let's start with this die set. Now this is stunning. We've actually got so there's a number of different dies here. Uh, I'm just looking at this frame. I was going to say we've got three. We've actually got four dies here. Now the centre die has uh, a kind of a gap in the middle at the top and bottom. So I'm not sure if there's maybe some special techniques that can be done with that. I can certainly think of a few. Uh, things like the swing cards could probably be done with this. But I'm sure any techniques that the dies will create will be shown in the project booklet, which we'll look at in just a moment. So we've got that gorgeous frame. Frame. Then we've got um, the word flourish and flare. I'll just check that. I have to look at it the right way around. Flourish and flare, yeah. Then we've got some beautiful blossoms here. Um, some elements that look like they may layer up with others. So let's bring this dicer in as well. So we can kind of team them together. Yeah, so you've got different buds there too. This is going to make the most beautiful bouquets of flowers. You can cluster them up in any sort of shape you want, whether it's a corner, whether it's a frame, a border, just a small cluster as an accent on your card. This is the most stunning large lily. In fact, we've got three large elements here because we've got this one here, which is the one single uh, single head, lily head there. We've got one that's ever so slightly smaller, um, the single head, and then we've got the buds as well and the leaf. And then this one, we've got two heads, a couple of buds in the background. So we've just got a fantastic variation of different florals there that you can kind of combine together however you wish. So let's just pop those to the side and take a look at the stamp set. Now usually the pattern paper in here is single sided so let's see if I can just use the back of that to show you those stamps more clearly. They are so stunning. So we do have a lily border here. We have some kind of ink or paint splats there as well. So you can get sort of your mixed media effect to this if you wanted to. Um, and you've got two lilies there. That would be perfect as a header or a footer of a card with a, just a nice sentiment in the middle. Um, you've got a larger spray here as well. There's lots of elements there that you can use. And let's take a look at these papers as well. So just, I assume they're papers until I feel them. I don't really know the weight, but usually we have pattern paper. Now this is gorgeous because it kind of has that rainbow colored background as well. Very soft, very subtle, sort of pastel shades. So what do we have? We have, oh, that's different. So yes, it is, it's a very matte, um, I would say around about 190 GSM at a guess. Um, obviously, um, the exact contents are written in your project booklet and such, so you'll know exactly what weight that is then. But I would say around about 190 for this. So this is going to be like your mats and layers, for example. Um, so beautiful different coloured lilies on there. Then we've got this absolutely stunning lilacs. Um, you've got soft purples, blues and greens in there. The slightly smaller print, that one. Wow. Do you know what I would want? I would fussy cut those. I would sit, enjoy sitting and cutting those out by hand, the larger heads, and then kind of shaping the petals and putting them onto a card. The same with these ones as well. Kind of similar design, but just a different colourway there. 
and then oh this is beautiful this is actually what's on the box so very abstract kind of a bit of a watercolor painting effect that's going to make a beautiful quick card background and that is that has got to be one of the most gorgeous background papers i have seen in a very very long time isn't that just amazing so much work has already been done for you there and that equally as beautiful i mean my go-to is usually purples blues teals those sorts of colors but those warmer tones are equally as stunning aren't they beautiful and oh that's perfect look at that so very often when we get watercolor effect papers uh they're quite bright they're quite bold the colors really sort of show through but it's really nice to have a pastel one there as well so you can really stamp and go with absolutely any color you want to complement that so there's your pattern papers i'd say there was about eight i think there was eight different designs there uh, one of each so we're not repeating and again they are a white core so they're single sided with white core so you can tear them and distress them reveal that white core um, and really do some fun techniques so that's inside the wallet let's now delve into the rest of the box and see what's inside the tissue paper um, okay so first, i really love this purple tissue paper as well i think i'd be keeping that so let's just tuck that away we have ooh, what do we have in here i really love that a lot of the packaging is now recyclable so over the years paper craft society has kind of evolved and listened to what people have asked for and the paper envelopes of course you can then recycle um, much easier than the plastic ones we have glass dew drops these look like water droplets particularly when you're doing florals these are so pretty and delicate they don't detract from the color because of course they're clear and you've got loads there i'm so pleased because i've recently run out of these so i'm so glad to have some more so we have the dew drops and then we have oh we have two stencils i'll go and say a stencil we have two and these look like they may even tie in with some of your stamps we have got beautiful flourishes there we've got splats you can kind of ink blend through your own kind of watercolor splodges and there's one shaped like a heart there too and then on this one we have got gorgeous lily detail i particularly like this flourish down the bottom here that is do you know what? that is stunning because actually a lily head as you can see there with the flourishes but it doesn't instantly look like a lily you kind of once you look at it for a moment you think oh yes i see it that is so beautiful and i really like this because you could just ink through with a darker color and you've kind of got the outlines instead and again with those splats there so they're the stencils and then let's take a look at what else we've got so much in here still so we do have the booklet here now the booklet is usually around about 16 different projects there's our lovely stephanie waitman and uh let's just have a little peek through i'm just wondering if it says here uh pattern papers it doesn't give you the weight there but like i say i'd say it's around about 190 gsm as a guess We've got some beautiful examples i'm not going to hover over these too much but there's always downloads as well for those um with the project booklet there's a link in there to some downloads so make sure you take advantage of that too now we have got some ephemera this looks like it's possibly die cut pieces i'm just going to open that and have a look certainly foiled so certainly that top sheet is foiled and die cut element and we have got a beautiful these are papers oh they are stunning these are a much thinner paper almost like rice paper not quite as thin as that definitely a much much thinner paper and then we've got as you can see die cut pieces that pop out there's actually not a single pip on there that is beautifully clean we have got lilies here we have got wreaths absolutely perfect if you do need to make that super quick card just pop those to the side and lastly we have our coordinating cardstock too so just remove the we call this the belly band from there and let's have a look at what we've got now this is double-sided but it's not identical double-sided if i just fold this over you'll see that there's there's kind of these watermark splodges on them a beautiful neutral color here uh, so it's not your solid cardstock but it's not heavily patterned either really nice to put in the background if you want to layer up other elements on top without detracting from that focus too much 
but if I turn that over you'll see the the splodges are such are much larger on one side and much smaller on the other so you've got the two different that kind of almost just looks a little mottled like you've used your distress oxides and just given it a very light mist of water there or more splatters that side I really love that let's look at the colors so kind of well, this is like I'd call this my cup of tea color <laughs> then we've got a beautiful soft red as well uh, almost a pink a deep pink but I would probably say a red uh, this is like a grey blue beautiful that is the most gorgeous colour that purple is stunning and lastly the green absolutely beautiful so you could do so much I am really excited to delve in and get playing with this Papercraft Society box so if you want to uh, subscribe to Papercraft Society you can do that on different monthly terms and you do have different benefits with each term you choose. Go along to www.papercraftsociety.co.uk to check out all the details and to find out about both subscribing or purchasing one-off boxes.